Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video I will show you how you can install OBS open broadcast software in Linux operating system. So right now I'm using CentOS 7 which is Red Hat based operating system and you can follow with me with any Red Hat based operating system. So let's start. So first of all from where you can get this OBS software most easily you can just google it OBS and the first link will be the open broadcaster software and go to download and there you can get all the uh, downloads for all types of operating system if you go to windows you see there is the install downloader option there where you can just download the exe file if you go to the mac then you can see the download installer which is also you can just download and install with few clicks but if you go to Linux then there is no installer what we see is just build instruction so that means there is no installer available for OBS studio you, all you need to do you need to rebuild this application in your operating system so that is the tricky part here so well this open, uh, open broadcaster software uh, studio is basically used for video recording and live streaming and if you want to go live on your YouTube channel and if you have a HD webcam where you, which you want to record your videos then you can use this uh, software and this is free and open source so let's just start how we can install this into Linux operating system so if you go click on Linux then you will see there are tons of instructions there now for each type of operating system I just simplify uh, Red Hat Fedora based uh, uh, directions of uh, how you can install inside Red Hat based operating system so let's just see what are these so I just created a script which actually do all this installation for me this is install obs.sh file I will open this for you guys and I will also put this into my git repository so you can just download and execute this with root permission and then you are able to install OBS software in your uh, CentOS or Red Hat okay so I will show you what you have to do you need to first open in terminal make sure you go to the script right click properties and permission allow executing file as program okay then close and then you just uh, run this script inside your terminal okay I will explain you one by one what are these commands so even you can just control copy and just paste like this and I don't want this to execute at this time because this all need root permissions so that's why it's not executing and in for my case I already have OBS installed in my system so I will show you it's showing inside sounds and video and OBS so that's why I don't want to rebuild this software but I will explain you all these commands but at the end you can just get this uh, entire script for my git repository and I will show you where my git is for git you can go to github.com slash vfx pipeline it's very easy to go there and you can find out inside my git repo all right so let's just see what are what are the things that we need to in, do for installation and rebuild of uh, this operating system uh, this OBS software first of all you need to update your OS the second thing you need some repositories and these repositories are required because there are some packages which is available only in these repos so if you don't install this repo uh, you might get some error that the package is missing or this package is not available so here you can see there are two repos which is one is EPEL release and another is RPM fusion once you install both of them then you need to install this and this is very important FFmpeg and FFmpeg devil what this will do this will install all the required codec which is required for streaming and video recording inside OBS so without that you might not get x264 and there are some other uh, pack encoders that will not work so this is very important another another thing that you need is uh, GCC which is stand for GNU C compiler 
and with that you th this is required to rebuild the application from the source code because source code available on git so we, what we will do we will just go and download the source code and rebuild that application there are other required packages for building this app so i already put this and also these are available here this is not something which is very unique this is already you can find all this information in this but i already simplify that for you guys so you can you no need to worry and so much about what what we, you need to do install and i already installed several time with this method so this is for me it's very stable method to install that i just execute this script and it, it's install obs inside my computer okay so next thing once you up to now we are just installing packages which required to build but now when we are doing the building and installation of obs there what you have to do first you just go to any directory right now i'm going in temp directory and then clone the source code of obs and you can actually clone through git and so you can just copy this command and execute so in this folder you will get a obs studio folder then we are going inside obs folder with change directory command cd command and then this with this commands actually we are rebuilding through the source code that will take around 5 to 10 minutes maybe less than it's depend on your computer configuration but from in my case it's taking around 2 to 3 minutes to rebuild everything and once you're done from here your software already install inside user local lib but to access your application you need to fix one thing or you need to add one configuration file uh, in this location so this file is not exist so you need to create this file you can use any method like uh, you can use any text editor like uh, vim or nano or whatever command line or uh, but in my case i'm using gedit so i will show you what i uh, added this basically in this file you need to add this line so let me just show you what is this uh, file looks like okay i know this is open so here you see in this local.conf file we have only this one line that you need to add and after you add this you just save that but make sure in this location you must have root permission otherwise you are not able to create this file and all this command basically required your super user access your root access then you run this command and you are done with the, your all build and installation of your obs software so in the end all you need to do you need to type obs inside terminal and you can run your obs software or you can actually see this uh, obs shortcut here in case if this obs software uh, icon is not there or this menu is missing then maybe after one restart it will be there uh, mostly it's actually visible after the installation so let's just clear everything and start obs i will first start from command line to give you an idea about how this software works so here this is my software which is already started obs and right now i'm using logitech 922 pro hd camera and you can see overall quality is superb in linux operating system and uh, if you want to see my full review video of logitech c922 then you can actually check out my previous video and also you can find the link in the description of this video this camera is awesome as you can see the quality is very fine right okay so there is a reason where we why we started from this uh, terminal because sometimes you need to uh, debug something or you need to investigate something that time it's good to start from there and it's already show you some of the settings that uh, okay what is your resolution what is the settings of your everything and even what is the source and everything that you can you can get here but sometimes we don't want to start in a debug mode so let's just close this so once you close this terminal obs is already closed so that is also not there so our installation part is done so that's why i'm just closing this uh, shell file and later you can download from my git repo all right so now let's just go and quickly see with the start menu so you can go inside sounds and video obs and hit obs and again it will start your camera and uh, everything it will, based on your setting because i already did some settings for me maybe for you it's it's uh, 
new so you might see very default raw settings uh, one I can quickly show you like I will just create a new scene here and in this new scene uh, there is nothing there so let me just quickly add a video video capture device and in video capture device let me just add existing C922 Pro and hit OK alright so like as you can see that device is already working with this camera uh, you might see some lagging when you install this application by default and you uh, you plug your HD camera or your webcam. It depends on which webcam you are using. But if you are using Logitech C920, 922 or C930E, then I will show you one trick. You can go to the settings by default. This is actually YUV and let's just select and you can start seeing some lagging. See, so now there is some lagging this is not smooth fluid video which actually we are expecting from a HD cam and also you can see they are my uh, voice and uh, my video is not matching at all okay so to fix that you go to the settings and you can just change it to YV12 or I, you can choose between uh, YV12 and YU12 it's depend on which setting which uh, uh, there they are very minor difference I don't see there is any big changes so just leave it like that also you can just go and change the resolution whatever you want so this is all about like how you can install inside Linux and how you can access OBS software and start your recordings and all right so I hope that you already familiar with all the settings with the OBS software so there is no need to go inside with each and all every option inside there but quickly we can go around with some settings there where you can just see uh, general tab where you can see some themes streaming option where you can just put your streaming server URL maybe your YouTube URL and your streaming key output here uh, right now I'm recording in MOV format but you can choose whatever you have so this one all options are available in Windows also so, so it's the same the application is overall same there is no difference uh, so that that's overall is fine. So with that way you can install OBS software inside CentOS and it's very good, very stable. I don't see any issue because I'm using this from last two days, uh, but I, I don't see any any issue. I'm able to record videos and I'm able to create some good content inside this video. And I'm also planning to go live uh, on my YouTube channel with this software. So I'm okay with that. Alright, so this is it for this video you guys, you guys can download the source code from my GitHub repository and also if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.